Welcome to 5th grade math with Mr. J. So here we are at the quadrilaterals mastery check where you are going to classify some quadrilaterals here on your own to see if you have the concept down. Now if you're looking for a little more help or instruction, I dropped the link to my instructional video down in the description, so go check that out and then come back to the mastery check. Now if you, I, I would highly suggest you have your uh, quadrilateral hierarchy or chart, whatever you want to call it, from the instructional video uh, handy here as we work through these so you can give the best classification possible. Now if you think you can do it without that chart, great. So you need something to write with and write on. I'm going to say pause here in a, in a few seconds. You're going to pause classify, give the best classification for each of these quadrilaterals. When you're ready, press play, check your work with mine. Now I am going to show you a few things on number one here so we know uh, exactly what to do and what some of these lines on the quadrilaterals mean. So number one, we want the best classification, best name for this quadrilateral. Now we do know it is a quadrilateral has four sides and four angles. But we can get more specific. For example, this quadrilateral has two pairs of parallel sides. The left and the right, one pair. Top and the bottom, two pair. So it is a parallelogram. But I think we can get more specific because this quadrilateral, quadrilateral has four right angles. So which quadrilateral has four right angles plus is a parallelogram and a quadrilateral? Hopefully you're thinking rectangle. Rectangle would be the best answer for this classification. So you just need to give one for each of these and it's the best or most specific quadrilateral classification. Now these lines on the side. So see how we have two here and two here? That means those two are congruent, they're the same. Those markings mean those two sides are congruent, which means equal or the same. And then the top and the bottom only have one line each. So that means those are the same. So in number two, there aren't any dashes, aren't any matches, right? So none of the sides are the same. So have whatever you're gonna write with and whatever you're going to write on ready here, go ahead and press pause. All right, welcome back. Hopefully we have, uh, so we did number one together, so we had five more quadrilaterals to classify. Let's start with number two. Now number two is the most general, least specific quadrilateral there is, and the best name for it, it is just a quadrilateral. It doesn't have any parallel sides, doesn't have any right angles, doesn't have any congruent sides, so just a quadrilateral. Number three, it looks like the left and the right are parallel, the top and the bottom are parallel, so this has two pairs of parallel sides. The best classification for number three is parallelogram. Let's take a look at number four here. Number four is a quadrilateral. It's a parallelogram, which means two pairs of parallel sides. It also has four congruent sides, four sides that are the same. Each side has a dash, that means they are all the same. And it has four right angles. So this is the most specific quadrilateral of them all, the square. Number five, let's see here. So we have four sides, four angles, so it is a quadrilateral. It has two pairs of parallel sides. The left and the right are parallel. The top and the bottom are parallel. Uh, let's see, any right angles? Nope, so it's not a rectangle or a square, but it does have four congruent sides, right? Each of the sides has two dashes, which means they all match, they're all congruent. So this one is a rhombus. So it is a quadrilateral, it is a parallelogram, but it also has four congruent sides, which makes it, the best classification makes it a rhombus. 
And then lastly, number six, we have two congruent sides, the left and the right. Um, let's check parallel. The left and the right are not parallel though, just the top and the bottom are. So exactly one pair of parallel sides, trapezoid. Okay, so there you have it, uh, the quadrilaterals mastery check. Hopefully you did well there as you went through and classified with the best name possible for those quadrilaterals. If you need more help or more instruction, head back to my instructional video and make sure you have everything correct on your hierarchy or chart. So thanks a lot for watching and until next time, peace.